Yeah, so, hey, I'm still, I'm still thinking about that every once in a while. And see, that hole there goes underneath to where the deck was. Well, that hole wasn't even cut out there. I ended up having to cut that out. And uh, the, uh, the homeowner's inspector, he should have caught that. The, um, the termite inspector, he should have caught that saying, hey, hey, we saw an area where we can't get to underneath your house, so we're not responsible for any of that area. Unless somebody cuts a hole in there and we can inspect in there, um, we're holding that area. Uh, we're not responsible for that area. And I would have, I would have made them, uh, before closing, had we have gotten that, we would have said, hey, let's cut, let's have somebody, let's have the, uh, the seller bring somebody in here, cut the hole, have them look in there to make sure everything's okay. And then we could have seen in there, and then we could have seen underneath the stair, the stairwell, uh, there's another piece of plywood going across where this, where uh, the stairwell is. And that was, that was, they wouldn't have been able to look under that. And then I would have said, have them cut a hole in that. Look under the stairs and see how, how that looks. Cause that area looks suspect to begin with. Uh, Cause the, the, uh, the, the concrete stones on the uh, deck were a little uneven when we looked at it. And I didn't know what was causing that. And, uh, but then when the, uh, when the inspection report came back, oh no, no dry rot, no nothing. He didn't mention it, he couldn't get under here. He didn't mention he couldn't get underneath the stairs. Everything's fine. You know, they would have caught all that. And so could we have, we didn't know any of that until after we moved in. Could we have, could we have uh, had any recourse had I not wanted to fix it myself and say, okay, I'll, I'll make some videos. We won't put up too much of a stink. We won't, we won't take them to small claims court. We won't take them, uh, we won't talk to the realtor and, and, and uh, ask her to get it resolved with the, with the previous buyer or through, uh, through the closing, through the title company. You know, somebody's insurance should pay for that, right? Uh, even the realtor's insurance or somebody needs to get sued or a small claims court or something. We could have we could have gone all kinds of different areas uh, to get some sort of recourse. But, uh, you know, you can decide. You can decide for yourself what to do. I decided to go ahead and fix it. And it, it gave me a chance to make, like I say, make all those extra videos and stuff. And... Uh, and there you go but uh you know you can you can do you can do whatever whatever you want but at least you've got a little bit more information than what you previously had had you not been watching my videos on this subject okay okay Whew. and on the last note for buyers and sellers of houses, if you're a buyer and you want to buy a property, I'll even show you how to get a set of plans, an approved set of plans and whether or not uh, uh, the house has any room additions, remodels, kitchen remodels, uh, water heater replacement, air conditioner replacement, deck replacement, pool add-on, all that kind of stuff. I'll show you how you can check that something that you could check on your own and it's not that hard anybody can do it and i i explain that too so look look under how to how to get a set of plans for a property or or buyer buyer and seller uh recommendations before selling a house and or before buying a house you know different things like that look up on my channel under my playlists or just uh, on my search box. And if you go to my channel, you're inside the channel, then go to the search box and, and type in something like that. How to get a set of plans for a house. Uh, what to do before buying a property. What to do before buying a house. What to do before selling a house. Top 10 things to look at before buy, when buying a house. Top 10 things to do before selling a house. I, I mean, Whatever it is, you'll be able to find whatever I've made on my channel, okay?
All right, enough of that. Back to work I go. I've got to, I've got to screw this last ceiling box up. So let's get back on point, shall we?